Yep. Okay, cool. So my camera's a bit warped as well, but we'll see what we can how we're gonna work with this. So um I might start by doing some life drawing. So this is the image that I'm gonna try and sketch. It's just a a dancer. It's just I just Googled life drawing and I found that image. So I could leave it right there so you can sort of see it as well. Um, so I'm just going to sketch it on here. I'm just choosing a pencil. Um, give it to sketching, a technical pencil, HP pencil. I'll just use technical pencil. So everyone has a pencil there as well. So to draw this lady, I'll just because my camera's angle, I'm just going to hold it like that. So to do um, life drawing, you work in um, lines, you keep it really simple. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to actually, I'm going to find out where her head is first. I'm going to start sort of just sketching roughly where her head is and try and find the angle of her face. So it's like her jaw there and her nose. So her eyes are there, just like that. So I can zoom in a lot easier now. Sure little bun. But we're not doing a lot of detail, but that's sort of rough shape of her head. That's her nose there, by the way. Her nose and her chin. Um, and then, so once I've got that, I'm going to draw a line, sort of the, the line that goes through the body. So it's going to go from the head down to the toe. So I'm just going to sketch it in, sort of bent line like that, goes all the way down. And then I'm just going to start. Um, what you're meant to look for is um, curves. So C curves, S curves, and straight lines, so I, C, S, I. That's what you need to remember. Um, so Not graphs in investigation, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so if I look at her body here, it's sort of an S curve that comes from her shoulder into the small of her back and around her bottom. So you can sort of get that curve in. And you want to exaggerate it as well, so make the bottom a little bit bigger. You know, doesn't have to be perfect either. And then on the other side of her body comes in. So she's wide at the shoulders, comes in at her waist and out at her hips again. So it comes wide and comes in and then it's out at her hips. And that's her sort of um, leotard thing that she's wearing. And you can see the line up the back. So if I hold this up a little higher, you can sort of see a bit better. And then for her arms, you can sort of see how the arm changes direction, sort of curves in and then it curves out. So concave and then convex, teaching you some scientific terms now. So concave after the shoulder and then convex. And then her fingers sticking out there. And then the other side, shoulder. This is not what I plan on doing today, so I'm just making it up as I go along. Um, <laughs> but um, it's good to know life drawing skills. It helps you draw. It's usually something you do when you're a bit older because the models are usually nude, but um, they don't always have to be. So I'm just adding little bits here and there, the neck, arms, his fingers. There you go. I'm just going to put her um, leotard on the top section, and then I'm going to stop for a bit and let you guys catch up. So in case any of you are wondering, this is an iPad Pro and I've got an Apple Pencil. And the program I'm using is Procreate. If any of you do digital stuff or have an iPad. So how are you all going? Have you caught up? No? I'm going to move on and do the legs now. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So because she's a dancer, she's got, if I just 
Go to sleep. She's got big thighs. And then two little calves there, and her toes are really pointed. So I'm going to try and copy those sort of big shapes. And again, that S curve. So there's a C curve, but then the C the other way makes it an S curve. It's like it's all stretched out. And then the toe curves the other way. The C curve there at the bottom of the foot. And then we have the little calf muscle. And then the back of the thigh. Up towards her bottom. So this is where her ballet slippers are. Down here. And then her other leg is coming from her bottom there, it's crossing behind, thigh sticking out, down to her heel. The calf there, and the foot's almost bent the wrong way. It's just a ballerina thing. So, like, that's all you have to to do for life drawing. It's just to get an idea of the pose. Just another. Zoom that in a little bit so you can see it. And I'm going to find another one. Oh, Shah, that's really good. You've got short legs, though, <laughs> but that's good. Um, that Because you're exaggerating and um, sort of making up poses, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, now, let me see if I can find another one that we can use. Um, and that is interesting. Um, oh, that's a good one. Okay. How about this one? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is you guys can get a new piece of paper. I'm going to make a new layer and turn this one off. So I've got a whole new layer ready to go. And I'm going to change my color. Um, let's go make it green. So again, we'll start with the head. I'm just going to move this over because his head's over this way. And spend some time looking at the, the angle of the head. So it's so he's sort of looking, zoom in. He's sort of looking down this way. So his nose is down here, mouth down here, his eyes are low. Again, you wouldn't normally put this much detail in the head, but I'm just sort of giving you guys time to, to have a look at it and catch up. So he's sort of looking from this way, he's looking down and towards you a little bit. Like that. Okay, so. Oh, picture turned around. I'm getting that light in my car. Let's rub out this thing. Okay, so um, after doing the head, the next step is to do the shape of the body, like the line through the body. So this is like a big curve, a big C. So from the head, curves around the bottom, and then to the knee. She can't get all the way down to his foot in one smooth line. So that kind of shape. And then I'm going to then look at, it's a bit hard to see, but his leg that's on top, I'm going to add that in first. Because it comes down like this. Down to his boot. I don't know why I made that so thick, but anyway. And 
And then what I might do is arm that's on top as well. So I'll find out where his shoulder is about there. His other shoulder's out there. So sort of his neck coming in and his chest comes down. So from where his shoulder is, his arm sort of comes out like that. To his hand. Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> to his hand there. It's too glary. There we go. And then he's got a, a knife in that hand. And then the same the other arm, sort of smoother on one on the bottom side and on the top has all the lumps and bumps of the hand with another sword or knife. And then we can put in his other arm, I'm oh, sorry, his other leg, which you can see the knee just sticking out on this side, and then it comes down here. So you've got a bit of a knee sticking out, and then you can even see the bottom of the foot, and that's the heel of the shoe. Okay, so it's a bit hard to see in here, but there's a line for his pants. And then you can see his bodyguard. It's got some kind of strap up there too, but um, you don't have to worry about that. His pants will stick out a bit. Then you might want to bring his stomach in a little bit like that. You got a question? There we go. Sorry, I was looking at the screen if you're waiting for one. Can you maybe draw a Star Wars character? A Star Wars character? Yeah. Let me see if I can find one. Because it's the uh, May the 4th? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like maybe the Bad Batch or something. Which one? Bad Batch. Bad Batch? Yeah. Like, the, it's a new series from Star Wars that came out. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. You know, Clone Wars, it's basically Clone Wars. Oh, okay. I'm just looking it up on my phone now. Um, okay, let me see if I can find a nice life drawing kind of pose. Bad Batch Hunter. Let's have a look at that. Okay. What about this one? That guy. He's a hunter, apparently. All right. So let me see your drinks. Do you ever want to do that guy? James. <laughs> cool. That's great. He's so grumpy. That's good. Is that uh, it's not Lucy? What? <laughs> Lucy Austin? Um, Reese, that's cool too. Um, Cool. All right. So uh, let us do a new one. So turn it on. Look, if I can, if I turn them both on at the same time, they're on top of each other. Okay. So new one. 
I'm going to do this guy. Uh, just a second. Okay, so this guy that you can see there, pick a new color. So now this guy has a big helmet. Oh, sorry, it's not in the screen. So the big helmet. Light there. I'm just trying to find an area that's not quite as lit up as that one. Give me a second. Okay. That's probably going to work there. So I've got his head and his body doesn't really have a, a place where I can go oops, straight through. I just lost it. Where did it do? There we go. Um, so what I'm going to do is just sort of get some shapes in um, around here. So I'm going to look at the half a bit. I'm going to look at the uh, the shoulders first. So it's got these big shoulders. Let me move it down. Big shoulders, and his body sort of comes in. And it's got a very narrow waist. And then he's got big shoulder pads. Oh, one big shoulder pad. I can't tell if the other one's big. It probably is. And then as we move down the body, you can see the legs almost straight on the inside. And then we've got a curve, curve on the outside. Bit of armor there as well. Armor on the knee. Okay, and then this other leg. You can see where the, the knees are almost in line with each other, but one's a little, one's a different shape because it's turned around. So we can get these shapes in. Curve of the, um, the shin. And then down to the foot. So then let's go back up to the arms. So one arm for the shoulders there, it's coming, the elbows are down here. So you've got one arm coming across there, and then it goes out to the hand. I'm going to do it a bit too high, it's a bit lower. I'll clean up some of these lines as well so you can see through. Okay. And then the other arm sort of coming down this way. That's holding the gun. I don't know if you can see, I was holding a knife in the other hand, but um the helmet, it's like a stormtrooper helmet. So it has those little uh, circles on either side.
so that's a, a good just gonna angle that a bit. So, yeah. That's a good way to um to rough out. Why has it been so canary? Hmm. There you go. <laughs> I'll get rid of the clay that way. Um, it's a good way to uh, rough something out to get the shapes in. So then you can go back and put more detail on it later. Um, let me, maybe it's just the color. Let me see. Yeah, maybe it's just blue. It's going to be washed out. Okay. So that's good. You put all that down and then you can go back and look at look at the close up bits and get the detail and find out where the, you know, the stripes go and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, you work on the, the rough stuff after that. Okay, let's do one more of those. <clears throat> find something else to do. Um, let's see, something else. Oh, that's good. Good drawings. <laughs> I'm trying to think, I don't know, what about, um, let's do a, do a spider going. This is a nice picture. They're all black, uh, white backgrounds, which is really annoying. Let me see if I can find something else. What is that one? Getting blown out as well. Can I turn the slide down? Anyway, I'll do that, but I'll, um, it's too hard for you to see this one. Let's go darker color again. Okay, so on this iPad, at least what, I can't see what that says. Hold it closer. Oh, may the fourth again. <laughs> All right, so this one of Gwen, Spider Gwen. Um, again, we're going to start off with her head. Um, so come down to a point. She's got a pointy face. And then sort of divide it up and do your curve down because. Her head sort of angled down a little bit, and that's where her, her eyes are going to be in that sort of angle. Okay, so she's got a shoulder up high, and then it's coming down to her waist, and then shoulder back so you can't actually see the other shoulder it's probably going to be about there but she's wearing a big hood which gets in the way that's not so you can't really see the other one but her breast is sticking out there and then it comes down to her waist and then we've got her hips and then that comes down to her knee because her legs bent and then her other knees her other leg is back behind her so sort of down like this
that's a lot of foreshore. I'm going to change it a bit. I'm going to add a foot in there um, just so we can just see what's going on. And then down here, we have her arm and her hand. <coughs> That's where she's holding onto her webbing. And then on the other side. So this is some foreshort. So let's see. Can you see? It's not showing up the detail in there. Um, but anyway, so the hand is on top. The hand is the next thing, and then that there is her, the inside of her elbow, just here. So that's her forearm behind the hand. And then behind the hand is the bicep. And behind the bicep is the shoulder. So what we need to do is figure out the width, how the distance, I should say, of from her shoulder to her palm just sort of shaped like that. So it's on a huge distance. And then she's got her thumb. And then her four fingers sticking out. So this one, you could even draw them bigger. The ends of them especially draw them bigger. How's everyone going with this one? And then like in this picture here, you've then got to draw in the forearm and then the bicep. So the forearm's gonna be big, and the bicep's coming back like that, and then the shoulder. Please stop yawning. <laughs> Are you wearing a Spider Man onesie? Or was it just? <laughs> I used to have a Spider Man onesie. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the hood. So put the detail in for the hood. So what I'm going to look at is drawing this line in first. The one across, that goes across the face. So it cuts off her eye a little bit. So it comes around there and then scoops up. Well, that's cool, James. Yeah, good job. Um, Race, I can't see yours. It's too late. Oh, I see it. Okay, I can see it. Good job. All right, so I'm adding in the top of the hood and down the base there. Well, that comes down a bit further than I thought. All right, I'm just going to rub out the lines in between. There we go. And then Cut the rest of this hood. Stick it out there. And then there. And if you zoom this out, we can see where the rest of her webbing might go. It comes up there and goes back around and then comes down here 
in front of us. Mm -hmm. No, we haven't done the feet. So down here, she's got her car, her, yeah, her car also sticking out. And then her foot. And this one, this leg we could do, so that one's just bent, it's going backwards, like this kind of thing. So the leg's bent like that, but you're looking at it straight on. So you're just seeing this section and a little bit of the calf and then this section. That's how we got this one. Um, but if I make this one going straight down, you might still see like a little bit of a foot down here, maybe even the calf. Because the foot is going to get small, because it's getting further away. So again, I will draw that one up here. So as if her, this is her waist and her body and this leg is now going sort of back like that. But you're looking at it from this direction. So you're seeing this, maybe a little bit of the calf and then the foot. And see how far away the foot is from where you are, from where you're looking. And that's why things get so small. And that's called foreshortening. I might just make that a little bit bigger. Make it look a little bit more like a foot. Not much more because I failed. Right. So there you go. You can put in some of the details of her costume. She has these little white sections on her hips, one coming down on her chest. Um, if you want there, so that black. And then um, she's got webbing on the inside of the foot. And then on the inside of her arm as well, there's some webbing. There we go. What time is it? Oh, we've got about 20 minutes left. So how did everyone go? Do you want to show me what you got? I threw the same team as one. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Lucas, it's yours is a bit hard to see. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just very light. It's hard to see. <laughs> very nice point. You know, with the um, with the coloring, I can't do it on this, but you can actually um, just with your finger, if you scribble like that, color it in. Just rub your finger like that over it, and it'll smudge it a bit, and it won't look like lines as much. You will get a dirty finger. Okay, so let's look at everything we've done here. Boop, boop, boop. Everyone's on top of each other. It's crazy. Okay, turn this off again. Let's do, try and do another um, a life drawing one. Just gonna find a suitable picture. You don't want to 
you don't want to draw from someone else's drawing, you want to draw from a photo or a real model, an actual person. So put up this girl doing like a tie boxing kind of kick. Okay, so new color, something darkish. So looking at this one, okay, you can see the line that goes from the head, sorry, from the head down to her other foot. So you can put the head in roughly and then draw that curve. Hang on, I'm seeing that. The front of her head there. And then curve of her from her neck. Curving in her body and then down through her leg. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got the curve of her back and then down to her bottom. So, and that's her, with her neck's going up straight. So, neck and then back is what we're going to look at. So her neck's coming down here and rounded for her back and then curl it in. And then you've got her bottom down here. And this leg coming up. So it's gonna come up like that. And then curved back down to her pointed toes. And then get the calf muscle in and her thigh, which comes down around to her bottom. Okay, so let's move back up to, ah, let's do her other leg, actually. So mine's I'm running out of room, so it's going to shrink us down. Is that up there? Okay. Just move this out. Okay, so her other leg. You can follow that curve through her thigh, and then angle it back a little bit. And that's going to be her calf. And then she's up on her toe. Her toe is sticking out, put on there. And then you can bring the other side back up to her bottom. Okay, go okay, back up to the top. Lucas, you're back. You disappeared. <laughs> so I'm going to look at her arm. So she's got a big shoulder. And her arm is coming down almost to her um, leg. And then change the angle up to her forearm. And then we can go to the other side, which has got a you know, big bicep and shoulder. And then do her forearm, which is like an S curve. And then draw in her hand. And the glove. <laughs> That's good, James. Okay. So I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on her face now, I'm just rubbing out some of these lines. So it's got something to work with. So her chin is there, and her nose. You can do her lips.
Put that part in her hair. Put her hair on. She's got hair sort of flowing around. Oh, that was a bit too high. And then her hair does also go down her back. And then, almost done. Uh, so her fist is right near her face. That's why I drew her face, is because her fist is right near it. So I'm just drawing a rough, roughly rounded square. And then I'm going to put in her forearm oh, and her breasts. Sticking so out there. And that comes down to her body. Turn there. So I'm draw in that little square, I can draw her thumb first. And then put a line where the knuckles go. So that's not this knuckle, it's this knuckle. So the one in the middle of your finger. So the knuckles at the top, these ones, are going to be up along here. And the fingers are coming down and down. That's the little finger. That's the ring finger. That's the middle finger. One, two, three, four. That's got gloves on there. And the head sticking out there. All right. Hey, you can put her pants on. <laughs> she doesn't need to be naked now. Shade that in. That's cool. It's looking good. Good job. I'm oh, sure I got a single lady thing on. And like camo. That's the noise that camo makes when you draw it, apparently. No, uh, it's just got no shoes on, so now we can draw some toes if you really wanted to. What's that? There you go. Okay. See if better one's bigger. What time? Okay, for about ten minutes. So, if I found another picture, and well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm saying, so I'm going to find another picture, and I want you guys to draw it. I'm not going to draw it at all. So let me find an interesting one. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Let's get this one. All right. This is what I want you to draw. So think about it the same way. Draw the, find the head, and you can draw the line either going straight up to that foot, around like that. Or it could sort of be an S curve down to this foot. And then just start building up your character from that. Trying to get a nice angle on that. It's a bit hard. So you know, look for those curves, C curves, the S curves, and the straight lines. You can't really see a lot of detail in this picture, but you don't need to put a lot in.
the niggly angles of his both of his feet kind of straight at the top and at the bottom. I mean, if you had more time and you wanted to, you could put in, don't worry about my notifications, you could put in like showing his muscle here, the shading of the muscle, sort of try and find his pectorals there or just his back going down this way. And the shoulder muscle and the tricep, uh, yeah, the tricep at the back of the arm there. The angle of the fingers. James, you even pellet it in. <laughs> that looks good. I like that. <laughs> I can't hear you because you're muted, but that's good. Like that. <laughs> oh, dear. I like it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that massive leg. <laughs> That's great. Good job. <laughs> okay, Lucas and Reese is waiting on you. Oh, and May too. May you turn your camera on at all to show us what you're drawing? A couple more minutes. Okay, Reese, you done? No? Can't see that one, Reese, pretty well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Lucas is good too. Got a massive leg. He sure does, though. Massive leg. Okay, let's try. Um, We'll do one more. I think we've only got time for one more, but this time we'll do an animal. Um, so I'm going to, maybe I won't show you the picture. I'll just draw whatever. Um, oh, I know. I've drawn one before. Uh, oh, actually earlier today, I drew a, um, I had a drawing class earlier this morning. And I drew one of these creatures, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, and you can guess at the end. Mm, oh, it's a good picture. Okay, so I'm not showing you this picture. Oh, Reese, you got a question? What's your question? I thought we drew a spider. Um, spider. We drew spider Gwen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, good point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, you got a good question? Uh, I'm here. Um, can we please draw a me cat? Um, okay, me cat. Well, um, what's your name? It's not Lucy. Um, Zeke. Zeke, okay, because at the bottom of the screen it says Lucy, so I'm guessing that's your mum or someone. Yeah. Okay, Zeke, I will try to remember. Unless you want to change the name at the bottom. Um, a meerkat. Okay, because I was going to draw this, a terror bird. <laughs> They're like giant prehistoric um, ostrich kind of things. But maybe next time. Actually, I'll show you what I drew earlier today. Quickly. Um, there you go. That's the one I drew in my other class. And we also drew a wolf. Um, James, if you've got a question, you have to unmute. 
Mr. Krabs. Is what, Mr. Krabs? Mr. Krabs. That <laughs> bloke. Mr. Krabs. Yes, that bloke from SpongeBob. Yeah. Um, maybe next time. I'm going to write this down. Uh, Fairbird, Mr. Krabs. Maybe next week. Um, so we're going to do a meerkat. That's going to be our last one. So we're going to have to be quick. So we've only got five minutes. Um, okay, look at these guys. So I might draw this this one here. He's got a nice S curve in his back. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do this one in black. Uh, this is fine. Okay, so I'm going to find his head. Get the head in there. His ears are on the side. He's looking straight at the camera too, so we can do like his eyes. And all that. Look. It's almost like a Mickey Mouse kind of character. Okay, so we're going to get that curve because his head's turned around. His back coming in like this and then curving back out. And then that's his tail. It's going to be flat on the ground like that, and then up. Oops, sorry, you can't see the bottom of that. It's going to fix the bottom of this tail. Um, And then his shoulder's really forward. So his shoulder's sort of, because he's looking over his shoulder. And then his hand sort of comes down like that. You can see a little bit of his furry chest sticking out here. And his hands are on his furry belly. You can see his other hand too, sort of sticking out there. And then he's standing up on his toes, so his leg sort of comes down like that. It's furry. You can do his other leg just slightly off. Yeah. I feel like his belly needs to be bigger. I'm going to change the angle of his hands into his belly a little, a little fatter. And they have stripes, so you can add a little sort of zigzag pattern on their backs. And then it's gonna like fix up. Like you think his head's a little too big, Let's make it a little smaller, a little flatter on top. A little furry face. Little furry chin. The eyes a little bigger. And with that, I think we are out of time. So everyone, yep. let me see what your uh, meerkats look like. And then that will be it for today. <laughs>
face. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Mickey Mouse. Uh, Zeke, that's really good. Oh, yeah, it's, it's that's really cute. good. I see. Um, Mr. Yap. <laughs> um, that's really cool. I like that. It's good, good makeup. All right. James, did you show your makeup? Oh, you're not ready yet? Okay. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> well, we are out of time. Um, yeah, Peter, do you want to just take them off um, uh, mute and I can, so I can ask them a question? Okay, yeah, sure. One, one minute, yeah, and then we, we finish. Yeah. Right, everyone can unmute now. I forgot about my So, um, next, <laughs> James, that's great. Uh, oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> so um for next week i've got terror bird and mr crabs is there any other suggestions for next yes. week yes and mr evan what ad yes. are they from they're from the that ad um compare them compare the meerkats compare the market <laughs> <laughs> it's very good very good the it's very fun Anyone else have any suggestions that they want to draw next week? Reese, anything? Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay. Alex. Obi Wan. And Kenobi. don't forget that Meerkat's name is Alex and, and Sergey. Sergey. I've got a friend called Sergey. At school. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for this week. Um, we'll do right, everyone, say goodbye to uh, Mr. Evan. Bye. 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 Bye.